our principle of the week. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you like it. Uh, we're going to talk today about fighting in the clinch. Uh, in the clinch range, where you can also do elbows and knees and your headbutts, uh, gouging eyes and all that kind of stuff. In a self-defense situation, uh, that is a place where you can really end a fight uh, pretty quickly. So we're going to talk a little bit just about the clinch and a couple things you can do once you get to that coveted position. Okay, so once I get to the clinch, I want to be... When you're doing your clinch, uh, common mistake, you don't want to have your arm too low. You want to be up kind of toward the crown of your head. And if I'm coming in with one arm, I can place my other hand over the top like this. What I like to do for my clinch is have kind of like a wrestling grip, almost as if you clap your hands and hold this way. Never like this too much, not a very strong grip. You just have your fingers. So I want to get the hand. So here, with that, I got my one hand. And then on the back, notice I'm kind of going up around the crown. Gives me more control. Another thing I want to do is make sure that my elbows are squeezing and I'm kind of cutting off the blood supply to the brain right here. So as I get in with him, I got this grip, I'm holding, okay? And I want to be controlling her head as we are moving around, okay? Does that make sense? And then from here, I have access to my knees. I can also do a move where I pop her back to here, open up for an elbow. As I'm going in for my clinch, I can be raking eyes, okay? Uh, another thing when I do my clinch, I like to shoot past and then kind of make this like a hook and then find it, okay? And I usually hit with an elbow right there too, okay? And then when I get my clinch in that situation, okay? So that's kind of a couple options you have from your clinch. That pop out to here with the elbow is really nice, okay? So keep that in mind when you're going in for your clinch. Uh, in clinch range too, you have to be kind of furious at that moment because any, anything can happen. We're in real close, so you got to be throwing those elbows, knees jerking the head around so the person's off balance, all that kind of stuff. So we'll watch real quick a drill uh, Paul and Emmy will do just to show you kind of getting in there and doing a couple of those things. All right, no, so these guys are moving around. Paul's kind of throwing random attacks, and when Emmy gets a chance, she's going to enter for a clinch, does a couple of things, and then she wants to separate and have distance. So when you're done there, Em, push them back. All right, so these guys are moving around randomly, uh, moving kind of slow because we're just a little slippery out here today. So Paul is just waiting when he gets a chance and he enters. He's going to go to his clinch. Boom. He throws a couple attacks and he separates, gets distance, and keeps moving. Good. Various controls you can do when you get in. Okay, guys, good. Touch your lips. Okay, so important things to remember when you're doing your clinch. Make sure you got a good grip, either here or if you get the one hand in, you can kind of go in the more traditional sort of clump situation. Make sure your elbows are tight so your, your forearms are, are collapsed around the, on the neck. When you actually have a clinch on somebody, you can't just stand there, okay? Because you are in range for like a very devastating body shot if he wants to tee off on you. So you got to be moving them around, okay? And from there, we'll be popping out, we'll be throwing in our other attacks and such, okay? Uh, it's a very effective range to end the fight, but it also can be dangerous if you're not in control of the situation, so make sure you do that. Uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to email us. Uh, we're Action Reality Martial Arts. Have a great day and happy training.